Every stitch we make, make it history, mate. Pay attention, no tension on this we make. If the shattered broke, then we fix it in. If the pattern's dope, then we stitch it in. Pay attention in, I'm a mission in. Call up a couple yeah, friends, say yeah. we stitching in. Hope we got the flaws, then we not the loss. If we frog play spricks, then we got the ball. Make lots of noise, cause we talking stitch. Don't trip, laugh, talk sick. Hey Floss Tube, welcome to Stitching It. My name is Stephanie and this is a YouTube channel all about my hobby of cross stitch and needlework. So I'm glad you're here today and I'm going to be sharing an update about what I've been working on for the past um, month or so. So um, this month it's all about samplers and that has been falling right in line with my goal of trying to finish His Eyes on the Sparrow um, by the end of the year. So um, that's been my primary focus is what I've been working on and I'm going to be talking a little bit about that but uh, there are a couple of people that are um, right around the corner of finishing it I just wanted to to say hi to Jen from Quirks and Stitches because uh, I've been watching her she picked hers back up um, a week or two ago and I thought that it would take her longer but she's really just been tearing the piece up and she should be finishing probably this weekend so congratulations Jen on finishing it but uh, I've been sticking to my plans and they're going good so far you know um, I've set a goal for to try to do 300 stitches a day on his eyes on the sparrow um, and a total of 1500 stitches a week so um, you know that's this pretty moderate but for all the time that I've had to do um, and my free time you know to stitch it's really been working out you know especially I I expressed some reservations last time you know about um, having the desire to work on this piece or not having the desire to work on this piece and how do I how do I get back into it and really what I found is setting a small goal to try to work on that'll only take a short amount of time 10 or 15 minutes starting out with you know every day but just building incrementally every day on these small goals has really helped me um, awaken reawaken my um, my uh, desire to stitch it and it has really been shown some some great progress so before I actually show you the piece, I wanted to, sh to put in a little slideshow. I've been taking a screenshot in Pattern Keeper every week over my um, progress. You know, so over the last four weeks since we spoke, first I was just going to show you um, what it looks like in the Pattern Keeper app, just real quick. So that gives you an idea about the direction I'm kind of going. You know, I've rounded the bottom corner this past week, and um, I'm going to be going basically towards the right as a, as the year comes to a close. Um, I'm not going to take it off the Q-snap today because, um, you know, I'm working on it, and I'm working on it almost every day. But I have stitched on this piece every day for the last four weeks and I finally decided today since I was filming a video I'm gonna take the day off for the first time the you know in like a month so this is where I'm at right now like I said I'm just coming around the bottom corner and um, there's some pretty large motifs over here but it's it's turning out really nice um, I'm not like I said I'm I'm not gonna take it off the cue snaps right now but um, I will talk a little bit about, um, let's see now, I told you that I set a goal to stitch 1500 stitches a week and the very first week I only, I came close, in fact I've only exceeded 1500 stitches a week once. The other times um, I didn't quite make it, you know, to 1500 stitches. I've been kind of climbing. So um, I'm kind of, it's now it finally feels like a habit. I work on it every day. I write down the number of stitches that I do at the end of the day when I go upstairs and I picked up when I, last time I talked to you I think I was at 52.44 percent and now I'm at 62.80 percent so that's basically 10 percent in four weeks now 
if I extrapolate, you know, and say, well, I did 10% in a month, um, at 62%, I've still got, um, 38% to go. And we are at the middle of September here. So I'm still going to be right up close to the end of the year unless I keep my pace up and make sure that I'm getting 1,500 stitches minimum. Um, and then trying to get closer to 2,000, really, as close as I can, so that I can, um, you know, just set it as a goal, you know, and have it out there. I don't know if a lot of you, I've been, I've been working really hard uh, also over the past month or two um, on working on my step count again, you know, with my Fitbit, and trying to get as many steps um, on a day-to-day -day basis as I can for that and even though I have a, a step count goal that's much higher than, than what I can it's not much higher but much higher than I would get on a normal daily basis you know um, if I don't take you know steps to get there I won't even get close to it you know what I mean my um, so the 1500 stitches a week well, that like I said, that's got to be my minimum from now in order to keep the pace. But I'm doing really good so far. I'm happy with what I've um, accomplished. It's pretty difficult. Like I said, this is the largest piece that I will have completed when I'm done. And um, it's been hard to keep my attention span on it. Um, especially, I don't know. You know, these large projects, since you can only see a portion of them displayed as you're working on them, you know, the rest of it kind of stays rolled up or out of the way. You can't see what you've done. So, um, it's hard to remember and to, to see how far you've come. So that's what I really liked about the, the Pattern Keeper progress, you know, um, is all, you know, I just can't power through these these large pieces. I have to take my time with it, you know, or else I will get burnt out and lose my interest. So that's really been my advice and how I'm taking it, like I said, to set a small measurable goal and to stick with it and to incrementally just push it forward or push it up, you know. So um, now, it is Sampler September, so I've been trying to um, stick with samplers, but I wanted to show you um, the reason that, well, I've been working on his eyes on the spare, and I've mentioned before that it's not on Zweigart base fabric. This is on fabric that was dyed by Vicki Clayton, and as I understand, she still has her store on her website. Um, which I guess I'll link below because I can't remember it right now um, but she is selling fabric still and since I had already gotten um, his eyes on the sparrow if I was ever going to work on the companion sampler uh, you know consider the lilies I wanted to get the same fabric base you know for display you know and I found out that she was still selling fabric so I picked up, and it's very inexpensive. I mean, it was even cheaper this time around than it was when I purchased it originally three or four years ago. She sells it right now for $16 for half a yard. So it it's not, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of thin and floppy. And I think it works better for um, primitive style or, you know, sampler style. Um pieces but it's going really well for his eyes on the sparrow so I decided I wanted the same fabric like I said for consider the lilies so I got a half a yard of her undyed base um, and this I did order 40 count but this is measuring up to be 36 count so the problem that I'm encountering is, is I cut it for 40 count with a 3 inch border it'll still fit on there with 36 count um, with a 2 inch border so it should be even if I didn't start quite far enough I should have enough but on the other side but that's what's concerning me right now but I love the color um, 
of the fabric itself. You know, his eyes on the sparrow has a lot of browns and greens and golds and dark deep reds, dark deep colors. And um, Consider the Lilies has some complimentary stuff. It's still very similar, um, but it's got a little bit brighter color to it, a little bit more um, modern. Like that, that's why I went with the lighter color. This is, like I said, the undyed base. So it's not an actual color, but it's going to be so pretty. I'll, I won't hold them up together. I don't know when this is going to happen. You know, I'm not planning. It's just going to be there to stitch on it. And, but see, they would look so cute together. Cute. What am I talking about? They would look spectacular together at the end, I think. But this one, you know, it, that's my start for Sampler September. So I'll see them. I really do like his eyes on the sparrow. It's I'm excited to see both of them together someday. So now we're moving on to a little bit more modern uh, samplers that I've been working on. Um, Stephanie from Lindy Stitches has just put in a great effort to make her patterns more compatible with Pattern Keeper, which I love. And, um, basically, you know, I've been working from Pattern Keeper, you know, exclusively because I am the kind of person that was previously reading from PDF charts without printing them out. You know what I'm saying? If you sit there and stare at a, you know, an iPad screen at a PDF in order to stitch, then Pattern Keeper is like the perfect companion. You know what I mean? If you're accustomed to using pattern charts all the time, I mean, excuse me, paper charts all the time, it may be a little bit awkward and you may not ever really get used to it, but um, it's something I just love. So, and so I've been sticking to anything that's in Pattern Keeper is what I'll stitch on. So I'm happy that uh, she, she sent me the um, revised version of Mary Mary Needleworker, which I had started. Let me take the the grime guard off. I started a while ago, but I made an effort to get through the skirt to finish the skirt. Oh my gosh. It's so small. Okay. This is on 40 count, one strand over two. And it does look small. I mean, it's on an eight and an eight by 11 inch Q snap, but that skirt is over 8,000 stitches. And the whole entire piece is oh, only a little over 15,000 stitches to begin with. So it's over half complete, but I'm saying, look how small it is. Like, my hand covers it up. So that's pretty neat. Um, it's going to look really cool once I finish it, but I wasn't really seeing it as a, a this year finish. You know, it's something that I'm trying probably to finish up uh, in the early spring next year. That's what I kind of think is my target for that. But getting through the skirt, well, like I said, it's it was kind of exhausting. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't really get a hand injury, but my hand was very sore after stitching on 40 count repeatedly um, at the end of the day. You know, this is what I was doing upstairs in the evenings after his eyes on the sparrow. But I'm glad um, I made it through. I started on the lace. I haven't, I don't know if it's bright enough. I may need to go back and do it in a brighter white. That's called Champagne from Color and Cotton. And it looked... I think I kind of need to go back with B5200, maybe. We'll see. Now, speaking of Lindy Stitches, of course, she put out a new release, which I couldn't resist. Um, it's themed with, with Dracula. Themed with Dracula, the book. It's a quote from Dracula. I've started it. I've started the border. The thread pack came the other day. I can get that out and show you. But, um, this is also on 40 count. I already had 40 count Anubis in my stash, and she released it, this pattern, and I didn't have any other plans for the Anubis in my stash. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah. And, um, I'll throw a picture of what that 
that that picture looks like but um, so I was happy to find something to use it with you know what I mean um, I don't remember what the quote says exactly but I I've been listening to the audible version of Dracula and I you know based on because I watched her video and she you know was so excited about um, the book you know that I decided I was like well I'm gonna listen to it and, it, and it's been nice um, because I've never heard it before or read it you know I don't know what to say I you know because I don't really read books like that anymore but I do listen to audible books and so I don't know if I'm allowed to claim them as being books that I've read or if I you know can I do I just say that I, well I listen to this you know what's the proper thing when you've read audiobooks you know what I mean kinda of rambling you know because I, I this is the last piece that I wanted to show you guys um for this thing okay let me just take the needle off okay but this piece is gonna be really um small again like I think I measured it might go in a it will definitely a five by seven frame but it's still gonna have quite a bit of border around it so um if I could finish that up this fall that would be cool but no pressure, no stress, because guess what else? Guess what I'm trying to do? His eyes on the sparrow. I'm just, if I don't get that done, it's gonna like really affect me. <laughs> so, um, but I am gonna get it done. I mean, I'm working at a good pace. I can see it, the finish. I can feel it. You know what I mean? And um, this, I wanted to let you guys know. This video is actually my 99th video that I've put out. Not not updates like floss tube updates, but on my channel I have a variety of different kinds of stitching related videos and so therefore the next one is going to be my 100th video and it's going to be a very special video. Nigel's going to help me out. He's going to he's working on it right now and um then I also want to do some sort of uh celebration or recap video after that so be on the lookout if you're not subscribed or have the notification bell on um, go ahead and hit that and um, oh I wanted to tell you guys you know in the next update video I have or whatever um, I am going to be doing a giveaway so um, I just wanted to announce that here so that you have a heads up <laughs> So um, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do that on my channel, you know, for my channel, you know, you know, just personalized and that's mostly for you guys anyway. So um, I'm announcing my giveaway coming up. So, but that's it for today. And um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.